like a boss, bro. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. <laughs> It is. It's the camper kit. Godspeed. Godspeed right there. So I was guessing that this could be like one of four things because I have a bunch of shit coming in the mail, but since it says Godspeed right there, this is definitely the camper kit. You ordered the, shit in the mail? I ordered a bunch of shit, bro. I got my wing, my that JDM wing like uh, Yuki has. Oh, no. I got that. Yeah, I got that. I don't um, want to that. Huh? I don't want to install that. Oh, I can do that. It's just the bolts, you know? Alright, so basically what we're going to do here is my boy Daniel is going to give his initial thoughts on this. And Camber, or Cam, Camber. Cameron can also give his thoughts on it. And she's a mechanic as well. Alright. I think that's what it is, right? I know, right? I have that thing as well, the thing from Toyota. It's so easy, don't go scratching my expensive wheels. Oh, uh, skid, there your drift wheels. It is, it's the camper kit. Nice, bro. Hell yeah. Alright, so. I have no idea what's what. So, you want to open this stuff? It's a controller. And I'll be the cameraman. So, what do you think, Daniel? You know, it's good. You know, depending on how much camera you need. It might actually get broken, but I'll tell no, you. No, I'm not going to do that. I have some spacers. So you just I'm, basically adjust this thing out. This is your ball joint head. Right. This attaches to your knuckle, and you loosen this, and this in turn pushes the bottom of your wheel out so you can achieve the camber that you want. Then you lock this nut in place once you have it where you need it, and uh, you will start wearing tires immediately. <laughs> No, I'm not gonna go like overboard with it, guys. I want, I just, yeah. I want the, basically, I want the, as you guys can see, the rear wheels are tilted in a little bit. And then if you look at the front wheels, they're like straight. So I want my, my front wheels to be like my back wheels so that once the spacers come, you guys can see like, there's gonna be like one inch spacers. I'm ox oh, fuck, dude. I'm probably gonna have to get some rear camber ones as well now. Um, but anyways, the front is the the biggest, most important thing, as you guys can see. That's probably about an inch. That's why I got the inch spacers. And then so the the wheels are gonna come out, but because of my fender. I, I, I'm gonna be able to tilt it in so that the fitment is like really good and it doesn't like in video form you guys can see like it looks like my wheels are like in a bunch but like if you were here in person like that shit it doesn't look like that in person bro so basically that's the that's one piece of like seven million things all right, what else is in there? Uh, looks like you got new sway bar links. Oh my god! I'm gonna return the ones I have. Well, you can always use. Are these, these ones better? Oh yeah, true. Or just sell the ones I have. They, they all they break eventually, you know. Like you're, they all wear out. So right when it wears out, you have another set. But cool. So it comes with that. Ones. Yeah. It comes just with the bolts. Arms. That's it. Yeah. Pretty much. Nice, dude. Get, man. Yeah, I'm probably. I got four of those spacers with the uh, the one inch spacers I got for the rear wheels. The rear wheels are already like tucked up in there, yeah. so I think I probably should have got like quarter inch spacers for the back, um, instead of the one inch. But the front definitely can have the one inch, especially with those, you know. Yeah, right. You're gonna need a. The only downside, bros, is that they're not green. 
It's good to break it up a little. Right. Green and red. Think about that. How would that look? It's like Christmas. Try the yeah, true. I could go along with your cars. Your uh, yeah, the Lexus and the Cam's new car. The Christmas. SD. Actually, you guys will see that in the video right now of us uh, picking or his car getting dropped off. Cameron's new drift car, boys. Dude, it's fucking wild, Al. It's pretty cool. It's the same car Daniel has. If I didn't buy this thing, it was going to be sold like that. Yeah, I literally could have messed with it, and I'm like, I don't need it, Daniel. Who are you going to message? Jeff? Or the guy? Buy the yeah. car. Yeah, the guy. Oh, damn. That's so much better than your car, bro. <laughs> it's in pretty good shape, man. It is. It's nice. Jeff's like, is that, a, is that a rare black interior? You're not drifting it, are you? I'm like, sorry. <laughs> So you can do the valve cover gasket because all your spark plugs live underneath here. Fifteen hundred bucks for that. I'd be honest, bro. I would think it would be more than that. You know, it's. I mean, it's drivable. It passes registration, inspection stuff, and it has a title, everything. All right, you can go straight back. Fire it up. Go down the road. Needs exhaust. It needs a, it needs a louder exhaust. Don't go far. Just go, go to the rock. How much gas is there? Almost out of gas. Got to go to the gas station. We got an hour's drive down to Toyota, man. You guys are gonna absolutely flip when you guys see what we're going down to this dealership to get. Pretty insane, isn't it, dude? Gotta tighten my coilovers. That's the reason. That we had to get one of these things, man, is because I'm a dumbass and I ended up hitting a bump with my coilovers. And that's why everyone's always saying that my car is like really comfortable to ride in for coilovers. That's just because I didn't like tighten them down. Um, but lesson learned tighten your coilovers if you're gonna lower your car because you're gonna have to pay 70 bucks to get a new thing, unless you just plan on ruining your electrical shit underneath your car, bro. Brother, you know what's hot as fuck when your air conditioner blowing to its maximum capacity won't keep you cool. And my air conditioner works. It's not busted.